What's going on Twitch and YouTube? Welcome to episode 27 of the USS Cerritos tutorial. I'm Zero Elite and I just want to thank you very much for tuning in to today's episode. And if you haven't, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and help me in supporting the channel. I can't thank you enough for that. Today we have about a 37 minute video, kind of a long one. Sorry, they're just making sure my audio is working. And uh, yeah, kind of a long video today. Um, we're going to be working on uh, just getting a little bit of detail, uh, pinstriping done on the lower hull. And we're going to flip back up to the saucer section and fix a mistake that I did um, in an earlier episode. And then we're going to rework the lip of our saucer. All right, so we'll get into the lip a little bit later, but that is going to be the main focus of this episode today. Um, right now, we're just going to jump right into it, and we're going to be working on the top portion of the lower hull. We're going to be using the gray concrete block, and just going to be going off the top lip. We're going to be outlining this, going all the way around. It's going to get a little bit of um, color detail in here and there to differentiate pieces on the ship and um, on this section uh, this area is a darker color and it's weird it almost looks like a neck should like fit in right where this is at um, which is kind of interesting when you uh, think about it because it almost looks like they had a neck at one point and they just kind of like chopped it off but uh yeah, that's uh, where I got the inspiration to add this color in, and I think it's going to look uh, pretty good. Because um, we don't have a ton of uh, color going down here in this area, and uh, definitely want to add that in. Uh, I think there's going to be one or two things that I add also down here, too. I'm not done um, working on the outside of the ship by any means. we still got a lot to do detail-wise. Um, I think we have a good, really good template to work off of, but you know, still need to... Uh, Get a couple of things in here and there. All right, so now we've gotten our uh, lip completely changed. Now we're going to go along one row down, and we're going to fill that in. I'm not going to fill in that yellow block, though. We're going to leave that there, so we want to make sure to build around that. All right, while we continue on with that, <clears throat> definitely got a lot of cool stuff coming up on the channel. Uh, something I want to talk about tomorrow night, uh, I'm going to be streaming on uh, my Twitch channel, and I'm going to be getting a lot of building done because um, I've kind of caught up to myself a little bit. I actually included a couple of extra captures into uh, today's episode because I wanted to make sure that I finished the, the lip of the ship in one episode instead of stretching it out. There was no reason to have it go into um, the next episode because it just would have been in the beginning of it. So I, way I figured might as well just uh, put it all together. So tomorrow I'm going to be getting on uh, tomorrow night, probably around 9 or 10, and uh, I'll be streaming for a couple of hours on the interior. I'm going to be working on a bunch of different things. I'm currently working on engineering. Um, if you don't want to skip ahead in the build and see what I'm working on, just wait for it to come out on my YouTube channel. But, uh, yeah, you know, if, uh, you're wanting to hop on and ask me a question regarding the build, that would be a great time to do it. Or if you just want to check out what I'm doing live and just hang out, that would be a great time. And I'm uh, going to be on this weekend as well. Um, I'm going to try to get on Saturday night, but right now the main, uh, plan is to get on tomorrow night and then I'll be on uh, off and on throughout Sunday. But I really want to try to uh, flesh out the rest of engineering when I get on this weekend and then start uh, working on the bridge and then start working on a couple other areas of the ship. Um, so there's definitely a lot of stuff to do, definitely. You can see we're looking pretty good right now. Now I'm just going along the inner lining, just adding in a couple blocks here and there, a little bit of detail. 
not calling it out, so I'm going pretty slow. You should be able to keep up with me, but for whatever reason, if you're getting stuck, let me know in the comments section. I'll try to help you out. But I'm uh, usually pretty responsive in the comments section. <clears throat> I was actually surprised I'm not doing too bad on the interior so far. I had uh, gotten a lot done with engineering uh, so far. Um, enough to where um, I know where certain things are going to fall into place now. The main problem I'm actually having is uh, I'm not certain where I'm going to put the turbo lifts to go up to the bridge. And uh, the reason for that is because the bridge is pretty much going to be setting right on top of engineering. So... Uh, when I get on tomorrow, that's probably going to be my main focus, getting that done, because I actually have to figure all that out before I really flesh out all of engineering and really get into it, because um, I don't want to build out engineering and then make, you know, uh, a turbo lift going up to the bridge is like an afterthought, you know. Um, that's definitely the last thing I want to do, so I've learned from my mistakes in that regard, so I want to make sure, you know, I plan ahead a little bit, so I'm hoping that I can get a lot done this weekend um, so I don't have any interruptions within uh, the build but I'm pretty confident that uh, that I'm going to all right so I want to rewind us just a little bit here so um, somebody pointed out in the comments section I actually totally did not even realize that while I was doing it that I totally made, made a mistake here and this is just a testament of when you're building something and it's not coming out the right way and you're either getting frustrated or you're just not noticing that you <clears throat> can totally make a mistake and that's what happened here. I was paying attention to what I was doing, but I wasn't paying enough attention, obviously, because if you look right here in this area, this is much shorter than this side. So there's an easy way to fix this. The easier way um, would be just to add a couple rows to this side, or you could delete some rows from this side to make it match this side. You kind of got to, you know, pick which way you want to go. Um, I think at this point what I'm going to do is we're just going to go off of this side and we're going to count off this lip because it's actually pretty simple to fix this. So I'm just going to extend this out. And to do that, we're going to go over to the right side here. And we're going to go right off of this lip. So this row is one back off of this line right here and it goes one two three four five on the fifth one it goes two back that's really all you need for right here if you really need to and i'm not going to lie i did this as well take a screenshot with your phone so you can see it so this way you don't have to keep jumping back and forth between the two sides so i'm going to count this out real quick now in real time <clears throat> Now I verified that there was only one block gap. Perfect. Now we're going to go over to the left side and we're going to extend this section out to make it match the right side. Let's get rid of this row. And now we're just gonna, this part's very simple. We're just gonna fill this in with the gray. Let me get rid of that. That's gray right there. Looking pretty good so far. slab right there and I think that's it pretty simple fix very easy to overlook <clears throat> and this is you know um, I talk about this and I would probably I would have seen this eventually because I like to go back and, and double check my work um, and by doing that it will save you from making a mistake so you know this is just one of those cases where we're pretty lucky it was pretty minor error but this just goes to show that even somebody like me 
and make a simple mistake without even realizing it, you know? And, um, yeah, you know, uh, the only thing I could say is the best thing you do is just try to be as careful as you can while you're building. But, I mean, if you make a mistake, I mean, you just got to roll with it. I was just kind of lucky in this case because this mistake wasn't too um, significant. It was pretty easy to fix. Because this area here, hmm, I was not a fan of it. I mean, once we came up, uh, once I came up with this general design for it, it was actually pretty easy to shape this together, but it was a point of getting to here that was really the issue. And, um, yeah. I gotta say, it was my least favorite part of the build um, so far. Everything else I really haven't had a problem with. This whole build has been a lot of fun. But that one section kind of aggravated me a little bit. I spent a couple of days working on it, going back and forth um, before I even settled on this. And even where, I'm, where we're at right now with it, I'm still not 100% happy with it. And I'm sure some of you will be um, will fall uh, into that too with your own builds. Where you'll just you'll there'll be scenarios where no matter what you do, it just doesn't come out exactly the way that you want it to. And um, or there's not really anything else I can do here, you know. I'm really just limited to the building mechanics within the game, building within blocks. I think all things considered, based off of that, it looks about as good as we can get it to look. But you never know. I'm sure at some point somebody that's better than me at Minecraft is going to hop on here and uh, build the Cerritos. But at this point, I'm pretty certain I'm the only one that's done it. Because, you know, it's still kind of a new ship. They're only even on their first season. And I actually missed this side going on here. So along this gray uh, uh, V line, we're going to do a lip of half slabs. Kind of make the slope um, to cut it more instead of it being so steep. And I think that kind of um, blends a little bit too. It looks really good and it goes with the rest of the build. <clears throat> so you can see I've obviously really embraced the half slabs for this upper section of the ship and you know I'm kind of taking some liberties with that with the color scheme not so much around here but when we go like around this area yeah I am kind of taking a liberty and back here but you know I'm just committing to it because uh, at the end of the day Sometimes it just doesn't always translate well into Minecraft, and you got to figure out a way to make it work. And that's just what I came up with, but there's 50 million ways that you can do this, so hopefully this gives you an idea. Right now we're shifting gears, and we're going to work on the bridge area just a little bit. We're just going to cut out the window. about that at this point in the build and want to make sure that that's there and ready. What I'm doing here, this doesn't look too bad. And that actually, uh, take that back, that actually looks pretty good. And see, that's <clears throat> a way of just adapting to build that uh, build style that you've set up. I didn't originally have that there and I just said, uh, you know what? Maybe if I just had that lip uh, going a cut up one, um, maybe that will actually look pretty good. And it does. It looks, um, looks pretty decent. All things considered. Not a lot of detail there, but if you've got to throw down 50,000 blocks to, to build out your bridge, I mean, you're doing something wrong. to start working on the lip of uh, Cerritos, the saucer section anyway. 
We're doing pretty good on time here. We've uh, shot through the first 12 minutes. We still have about 25 minutes left. Like I said, kind of a lengthy video today, but uh, the saucer section here, um, I'm not quite happy with it. I want to actually stand back to when we get down to a side profile view of it. And here's my problem with it. <clears throat> the underside is perfect. It's the upper side that messes it up. So really what we want here is that we want more of the upper side to look like the underside because that's how it is. It has a very similar curve on both the up and the below. Um, so right now that's kind of setting it off for me. If I didn't point that out though, you might not have noticed it, but this is gonna be one of those uh, defining characteristics that not only um, add to the layers in this build, but just um, this type of, uh, or not just the uh, Cerritos, but uh, gener uh, next gen chips in general is kind of what I was trying to get at. It took me a second to get there, I'm sorry. But it, like even the Enterprise D, like if you look at those ships, um, the new ships that were made in like next gen era, like they had uh, the, the shape of them along the sides, they tapered inward. Um, at the same width on below, just like they were above. So that's try, uh, what I'm trying to get at right here. And uh, we're going to work on it a little bit. We're actually going to do a little bit of exploratory building here to get there. And um, yeah, see, this is a, a pretty good example. Even though from this angle, it looks like it's going down at an angle. I promise you, it's about the same on both top and bottom. So, I've taken the liberty of this middle front piece. I've deleted that. So, the two, if you look at, if you go in one, like if you look at this section right here, this pattern, after the half slab, it's the full blocks. So, essentially, what I did was I took out these blocks, I replaced them with the dark gray, both the top, middle, and bottom. And then, or excuse me, behind it. And then uh, on top, I added a row of half slabs. And then on the bottom, half slabs. Don't worry, I'm going to show you how I built that, just in case I was a little confusing. You see, we're replacing this top row with half slabs. We're going to do the same thing down here. I'm actually going to show you like two variations that we're going to do. So if uh, I'm pretty sure that you'll probably end up liking one of them. Either you're going to like the lip of the ship as is, or you're going to like one of my uh, variations. But um, I like to do this from time to time. Try out different things because you, you know, you won't really know until you try it out. see that definitely kind of simulates a little bit more of how it looks in the picture the only downside to that design is that we don't have the three stripes but I'm gonna be honest with you the current scale of the ship I'm not gonna be able to add them in with the design for the lip that I came up with I actually really try to figure it out here in this episode but everything I come up with it just looked weird to me so um, you never know, one of these uh, variations I do here in a second might look pretty good to you, and if it does, hey, uh, just embrace it and build it. But you can take liberties. That's what I'm getting at, too. You know, at the end of the day, this is your ship. It's a fictional ship. Build what you want. And um, what we settle on, I don't think it, what I ultimately settle on, I don't think it's going to look bad. I think, uh, for the most part, I think everybody will probably agree that it looks pretty good.
Alright, we're looking good. Looking real good. Let's get this upper side done. Now, I'm not doing too much side chat right now because I really actually want to focus on this area and what I'm telling you guys to do because sometimes, you know, I can talk over stuff, you know, talk about other things, but this portion of the build, I actually really wanted to focus on it because, um, so what you're going to do now uh, because what I'm doing, you're going to build going all the way around the saucer. The only areas you're not obviously going to do this is for the sections that we cut out for the shuttle bay. And you're not going to be going over the gray strips that we added in yesterday's episode. And uh, for those that are watching this after I recorded, that would be episode 26. So one before this we added these gray strips right here you're not going to build this line through them you're going to build after you're going to skip them and that's why i'm showing you this part right here definitely very important you want to make sure you do this just so our builds stay consistent <clears throat> after i go through this and if you want to wait until that uh, you watch through the episode, see what changes I make to make your decision. That's totally cool too, you know, because um, uh, I wouldn't uh, hold that against you either. Because as you will see in this episode, I try a couple of different um, uh, building designs to kind of uh, end up where we fall at. But want to make sure that um, we at least. Uh, keep it on the same page as far as everything that we're doing up until that point. We're looking pretty good so far. That is one of the screenshots I found. You can see that one's got the two stripes, just like I pointed out, the gray stripes on the side there and there. So far we're looking pretty good. Now, I did say I was going to show this to you all, and um, this is me fulfilling that promise, because I talked about that I found uh, a high-res, realistic rendering of the Cerritos, and this is that picture. Um, right off rip, it actually is a lot darker than uh, the animated version of the Cerritos. On, like, specifically on the saucer section, all the paneling here, uh, like on the animated version, this paneling would be shades of blue. And on the high-res rendering, um, they made it shades of gray. I really want to try to figure out a way I can incorporate some of this paneling into the build. But um, we're going to get there. And you can see there on the animated Cerritos, look how uh, vibrant the colors look on it. So totally different, and it sucks. I wish that I could build that on Minecraft. But Minecraft does not have the color palette with the blocks in order to pull that off. It doesn't have enough blues. So now we're going into variation territory. So... want to at least make sure that you've gone around and at least completed this first step or you're not going to make any changes to your saucer but you want to at least the steps that we just completed with the the dark gray and then the half slabs you definitely want to add that so now we're going to take them away now they added And if 
you can pull this off without building the two half slabs, go for it. Um, I still I wanted to describe it at least in that way, but in reality, you really don't need to put the half slabs there. The main point is uh, getting the black there, but for right now, we do want the bottom row of the half slabs because what I'm doing at the moment is another variation. So I've got one half cut in between them, and now I'm doing a row of half slabs again. And what I'm trying to do is kind of cheat so that I can give myself those lines in the hull, which you can definitely see them. But what I hate about this design is that I feel that it takes away from the strength of like how the lip looks. It looks very, very flimsy now with just like that little tiny rink dink half slab sitting there like out in the open by itself. It doesn't look good, at least not in this configuration. If you like this, hey, at least uh, at this point you can get two rows of uh, your pinstripes. We're able to fit that so you can do this going all the way around. Just want to make sure that you don't cover in or don't uh, build around your gray strips and you don't obviously build over your shuttle base. That's not what we're going to be settling on though. You can see the only section I haven't done is the back end because I'm going to do this live with you all because this section could be a little bit tricky. So I wanted to make sure that uh, I do this with you. So you see I'm skipping past the gray line. We're going towards the back end of the ship. Continuing on with our new pattern. At this point, I've already gone around the whole ship and I've con converted it to this current pattern. Even though we're not going to keep this, I haven't decided that at this point in the build. At this point, I was leaning towards keeping this, but at the last moment, I just decided that I didn't like it. We're even going to get rid of the yellow pinstripe going on the side right here. Don't worry about it. We'll come back to it. We may add it. We may leave it uh, have it at least on the lip of the saucer. I haven't decided just yet. But I definitely wanted to show this one because I wouldn't have really been able to skip this and have you all stay consistent with me in the build. But this is just another variation in how you can build this ship. And there's more ways you can do this other than the stuff that I'm showing you today. You can get creative with it. This is just a couple of solutions that you can come up with if you decided to use them. Someone might say in the comment section that what I do settle on isn't as accurate as this is. But I would beg to differ because uh, the shape of it was more important to me than getting the, the dark gray pinstripe. I was honestly happy with just having one if the shape of it was right. That was just kind of my thinking on it. If we made this thing a little bit bigger, we would have been able to have the pinstripe, but um, that's the one downside with uh, building ships on this scale, even though they're pretty big. They're still a little bit small, so sometimes you do have restrictions, but I still prefer it because I'm not leave, uh, left with tons and tons of space that just is ultimately going to become empty rooms on a ship. And uh, I really like uh, when I do build out my interiors on these things, I have a fleshed out design because not a lot of people do that. I think I'm one of the only people that has one of the most complete Enterprises. Definitely not the biggest by far. Even though when I do the Enterprise D, it's it's not going to be uh, as big as a full scale Enterprise D. It'll be a little bit smaller, but it's still going to be the biggest ship I've ever made in Minecraft. And I'm, I'm kind of scared of it because um, just because of the scale, it's going to be it's going to be big. I know this portion is repetitive, but again, I wanted to at least show the back end of this live because when we get around to the shuttle bay area, 
is really the main focus of this. <clears throat> and for those of you that might need extra help building out through this pattern, so you've got an extra section of me going with it, but you can see I'm just going along with the cut and pattern that we're currently working with. I'm just slightly altering. And it kind of sucked too, because I actually, part of me, did not want to part with this design that I'm doing right now in the clip. But it just, it kept bothering me because it wasn't the right shape. I'm actually going to jump us ahead just a little bit. get to where all right so it looks like I'm not actually gonna show it but that's okay um, let me go back right here this is where I want to go to so this pattern you're gonna bring this all the way up to this gray line right here for the shuttle bay and the same thing on this side, we're going to start from this side out just like we did over there, and we'll go right over that yellow line and get rid of it. But very important not to go into your shuttle bay. Okay. We're looking good. Now we're going to hop over to the last portion of today's episode and we're going to get to a point where it needs to be. So now this top row here, we're going to get rid of this. And then this first gray or dark gray block, we're going to switch this to white concrete now. Those of you that want a perfect lip on your Serratos, this is the design that you want to do, so you definitely want to make this change as well. Now we're going to go a step further, we're going to make one more cut going back in the top row, replace that with half slabs. row let's just go ahead and do the half slabs on the top row here perfect looking good now you see we're sacrificing the top pinstripe it will leave us with one but it's going to make this top portion of the saucer look a lot more strong than it currently does i think you can really see the difference with the two of them sitting there to me this looks way better than this but that's my own personal preference. You know, if you don't, if you like having at least the two stripes, leave it as is. in the top bar so it's a little bit closer together easier to get to so I can do this a little bit faster and now I'm going to go around the whole ring of the saucer and repeat the same process that I'm doing right now getting rid of this top row getting rid of this dark gray row repl uh, replacing it with white concrete then this top row we're going to get rid of that replace that with half slabs
It might be hard to envision this now, but once we go around the whole ship, of course, making sure not to go through our gray strips on our saucer, the two of them on each side, and then the shuttle bay. Do not go through those either. And you'll be in good shape. You'll have exactly what I have, and you'll have uh, as close to a perfect lip on the saucer as I can come up with at this present time. I'm actually really happy with how uh, the lip turned out. I wasn't happy with it right up until this point, but after I did this, I was actually very surprised with how good it came out. And you can make alterations like this, you know, you can play with it a little bit, and if you're afraid to experiment, you don't want to lose stuff, make copies of your save. You want to do that for multiple reasons, in fact, not only to uh, safeguard your work but also to experiment. You can really see now the, the lip. See how better that looks now, the top side? It doesn't curve up as much as the bottom, but that's okay. You can distinctly tell the difference now between the left side to me and the right side. This is way more in line with a TNG era ship than this is. That looks awesome. Alright, and we're rocking, so we're just going to keep on going on with this pattern here. Now we're going to get rid of this top row and half slabs. We're going to the next one in. Doing the same thing over again. It's one of the good things with Minecraft and the way that I build ships. It's repetition. So eventually, <clears throat> you will get used to doing this after you've built enough of these things. And you'll get to a point where you may not even need my tutorials anymore. I hope you stick around after that point. You don't need me just to check out my new videos. But uh, I'm definitely not afraid to share my secrets with people. Because, you know, I've talked about in the past. This is ultimately why I do these videos. Because I want to be able to share my work and show people how they can do this too. Because when I started this 10 years ago, I couldn't find anything. And I had no clue how to get started in. It took me a really, really long time to get to a point where I could build ships like this. This was a 10 year process, no joke. Um, and that's from building the 2009 Enterprise a couple of times and heavily uh, making revisions to the Enterprise A and everything else, you know, who stuck with me through the uh, video series on my YouTube channel. Um, you can see those videos that I've done also. But it's definitely been a long road to, to get to this point. But if I had tutorials at the time, I think it would have made it a lot easier. So I'm hoping that uh, by putting this content out, that uh, you're learning something, hopefully, and having a little bit of fun with it, and looking at that building on here just a little bit differently than maybe how you were before. Because, I, I gotta be honest with you, when I first started building on Minecraft, I did not think like this at all. Um, in fact, a lot of what I did was really random in a lot of ways, like a lot of stuff that I did. Um, I didn't really stop to think about the layout of a ship or just the layout of the build and um, how things were going to flow, you know, detailing and all these things, you know, that I just kind of acquired over a period of building these things. So really, I'm showing you all my secrets. So I haven't done anything here yet, but I'm going to have to make a change because we took a, a row off. Well, we didn't take a row off, but we're going to have to shave part of this right here to go with the design around the rest of the ship. But we're going to get into that. I will show you what to do around this section here, but that's why I'm just kind of sitting there because I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do with it. But I know that the way I have it right now that I have to at least adjust this portion of the saucer right here with the half slab row and then the full row right behind this uh, gray piece. 
So for right now, I'm just going to skip that, and that's what we've been doing for this whole portion of the build. We haven't messed with those gray pieces, so if you've touched them, you want to go back, because you made a boo -boo. with how I'm uh, editing the lip of this thing too. I'm really not changing the shape of it at all. And um, I'm doing that specifically because if you start adding rows to it and stuff, it's really going to start to um, distort at least the uh, outline row of your, uh, of your ship. We don't want to do that. Now, with making the extra cuts going in, it's actually going into some of our windows. But don't worry about that. Um, we're going to shave off a row of the windows in coming episodes um, to make everything match up now that we've um, brought it in by one where the windows are at. because it looks pretty good but now since we've tapered it off here you see it looks weird with it cutting into the windows it doesn't look as good with the parts where it doesn't all right so now i've transitioned into the last Part of this episode. I'm going to show you guys making the change back here. This is right around the saucer, or excuse me, the uh, shuttle bay area on the right side of the ship. Just so you stay consistent with me, you can see I took a layer out of the yellow stripe there. We're going to bring that literally right up to the gray line stopped right before it. You do the same thing on the left side now. Which I actually already did. <laughs> so that's good. Only thing I didn't do there was swap out that block and I'm going to do that on this side now. That right there. So as you can see, for the most part, I do proof watch my videos beforehand, but I don't catch everything. So that was just one tiny thing I didn't catch beforehand. We're just about caught up now. All right. So the only thing I have left to do is this back end on the saucer to make it like the front right here. I'm going to do that off camera, but it's literally the same process that we've done for this whole front side and right here. So when you do, when you get up to the point to do your lip here for this side of the shuttle bay, just watch this last part where I did on the video here. And that's why I'm not showing it again, just to save a little bit of time. Uh, because I still I want to try to uh, get these videos done in the shortest amount of time possible. And uh, the stuff that I feel we don't need to show, we're not going to show. But we're doing this thing from beginning to end. We were getting stuff done. But I think that's going to wrap us up today. I think that's a good, uh, good point to stop for the weekend. We've gotten a lot done on this thing so far. Still have a ton of work to do. But uh, I just want to thank everybody again for tuning into today's episode. And if you did enjoy today's content, if you can help me out and hit that like and subscribe button, I definitely appreciate it. Uh, new subscribers too. Also, don't forget to turn notifications on on my channel so you get notified when those new videos drop. And speaking of new videos, don't forget you can always catch my new Twitch streams Sundays through Thursdays, typically dropping between 9 and 10 p.m. Eastern. You can catch those at twitch.tv forward slash zero elite. And also don't forget you can catch new videos on my YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash C forward slash zero elite. 
and I've got new Starship Evo videos dropping on Mondays and uh, Minecraft videos dropping Tuesdays through Fridays. And those videos on my, on, uh, my YouTube channel drop at 10 a.m. Eastern. Anyway, that's going to wrap it up for me. I just want to thank you again for tuning into today's video. Hope everybody has a happy and safe weekend. Don't forget to catch my stream tomorrow night and over the weekend. And I'll catch you next week.